Democratic Congressman Beto O'Rourke is challenging Republican Senator Ted Cruz in an unexpectedly close Senate race this year. If O'Rourke wins, he'll be the first Democrat elected in a statewide office there since 1994. Omar Villafranca joins us from Houston, and Adriana Diaz is in El Paso. They have been keeping track of the election there today. Uh, Omar, let me first start with you. We understand there's been a decision to extend polling in one county. What can you tell us about that? Well, we just learned, Elaine, that there was a, a judge who has granted a request to keep nine polling locations open in Harris County an extra hour. Well, why that's important, because one, Harris County is the largest, most populated county in Texas, and it is a, a Democratic stronghold, but it's also where Ted Cruz is from. And because those nine polling locations are going to stay open an extra hour, now that means they're going to delay the returns from Harris County another hour. So while the rest of the state is being tabulated, it's up out there where Adriana is in El Paso, they're going to wait for probably the largest chunk of votes they have to wait for it. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens as those results start coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Adriana, let me ask you. Yes, Beto O'Rourke has drawn national attention, but he still has a tough task ahead of him. Is his campaign optimistic at this hour? They are still optimistic, Elena. We are now getting some information from exit polls here in Texas. And as expected, he is doing better with younger voters. Uh Voters under 30, it looks like 20% say that they voted for Beto O'Rourke versus 8% for Cruz. Women say that they are supporting O'Rourke more. 56% say that they supported him, whereas more men, 53% uh, supported Ted Cruz. Now, on the issue of immigration, this is central to both men, both of the campaigns here. Uh, as expected, those who support building a wall, 84 percent say they voted for Cruz. Now, because there are more Republican voters here in Texas than, Texas than Democratic voters, O'Rourke's strategy is to turn out new voters, turn out millennials. Um, and they turned out in force for early voting. And O'Rourke actually got a late day endorsement from Beyonce, who endorsed him. She, of course, is a very high profile Texan. She endorsed him at nearly the 11th hour. As the night goes on, we'll see what kind of a difference that may have made. Omar, uh, Omar, how has the Cruz campaign navigated this race in the final stretch? Well, in the last few days, they've been, of course, going to their strongholds to make sure not only they get people out for early voting, but they're also trying to get people to make sure they come to the polls on Tuesday. Some of the early voting numbers are astronomical, what we've seen here in Texas. 4.8 million people. That's already more early voting in this midterm than we saw in all of the last midterm, in all voting in the last midterm. So that's a staggering number. The question is, who were they going to vote for? There were a lot of new voters, as Adriana uh, mentioned. But he's also going across the state. He did some phone banking here today. Um, but I also talked to the state Republicans, and they say that they feel confident, since Republicans traditionally vote on, an, on Tuesday, on Election Day, they feel confident that the edge will go to Senator Cruz. We'll have to wait and see. All right, Omar Villafranca and Adriana Diaz in Texas, thank you both for joining us.